Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nathan Daly. Welcome back for another video update. Uh, today we're going to be talking about um, an interesting case out of Florida, Orlando, Florida. Very interesting, interesting situation that occurred. This happened on the 21st of September. So apparently law enforcement uh, undercover officers were patrolling in the community where they were randomly, randomly shot at by three teenage males. These were black males from ages from seven, between 17 and 22 years old. So interesting enough, I'm going to play the video for you guys to check out. Let me know your thoughts and then we'll kind of break down the video a little bit. So the officers are actually in, they're in plain clothes, but they have markings of police on them. Um, they're in a, I believe, uh, the vehicle looks tinted, but the vehicle's unmarked. I think they're now they're just checking the residence to make sure everybody's okay. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Welcome to the life of a police officer. Overall, that incident was completely crazy. Um, it goes to show you the crazy stuff officers have to deal with and always constantly have to be prepared. Uh, even though they were able to shoot at and um, hit um, two of the suspects, the officers managed to make it out of that situation alive and injured free, which is which is also amazing. Um, good news is all three of the suspects were apprehended and I believe the ages were. So Jamie and Brown, 22, Travis Weston, 17, and Michael Collins, 19. So uh, one, of the, one of the suspects was shot in the leg. Um, I believe Weston was treated for a leg wound and Brown suffered an arm injury according to the news article. Listen, why are our children out here with guns and why are they shooting at random vehicles? You know, these are the questions that we need to actually really, really have a discussion about. Um, and this goes towards the issue. And unfortunately, these are three black males. What's the question that we all need to ask? One, why do you have guns? Where are the parents at? And why are you running through the streets shooting at vehicles driving by? Believe it or not, a lot of people don't realize a lot of the teenagers commit a lot of crimes and even some of the most violent ones, and they are armed. Nothing else to share for today. I hope you enjoyed this video breakdown. It's very sad. I'm glad that the officers are okay and safe. Even the juvenile, well, even the young kids, the young adults are also safe. But unfortunately, they are more than likely going to do some time. That's attempted murder, aggravated assault on a police officer. And just that quick, a person's freedom can be taken from making a poor choice, poor decision. So one of the things in this channel that, I, that I'm, I'm going to advocate for is really talking to a lot of young, uh, young adults, uh, especially within the black community, to try to figure out if we can find ways to have better interactions with law enforcement. Somewhere in our community, there's been a disconnect. And it's a lot to unpack just for this one video. The reality is we have three young black men who are possibly going to be facing prison time for aggravated assault on police officers. All that could have been avoided just from making better decisions, right? So anyways, thank you again for watching this video. Uh, please, if you haven't, like, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to speaking to you again on the next video. All right, God bless.